then I just noticed more lore. This is who Marina wanted in charge of member security. I would never abide by it. No reason such strength should be used to protect world of order. Order defense force is much cooler than a new Squid Peaks platoon anyway. Big shot Octarian. He seems to spend most of his time flying around his new robot. Pull yourself together. Saw this Sheldon person taking on two small little disciples, which means he took two young impressionable children who've known him since they were babies and raised them to inherit his legacy. What sort of a terrible person would, <laughs> would do? I can't read his fucking dialogue, bro. Someone's got to translate this out of this speech, please. This is an outrage. Okay. There's more lore here. We're only missing two pallets. Actually, we're technically only missing one, but I'm guessing Octoshot is the other one. I don't know if you'd have to beat it, though. It'd feel kind of weird. Okay, this is normal, just less range. Damn, guys, they really nerfed Stamper in this patch. They were not... They, they don't like this thing, man. They do not like this weapon. Alright. They, they really nerfed it. Okay, I guess damage is a good one to get. charge up sound i don't know if i like this model better though i might be a fan of the normal stamper better i like the handle more but that's it also the kit dude they cooked oh yeah good job fry fry i wish you got to make the sword kit all right how are you crab I didn't use the other mode. DPS isn't bad. You know, the Stamper Kit is literally my dream kit for it, outside of not having cooler, technically, I guess. But Crab is, like, second, so... I know what they're doing. Damage again? Or knockback? I guess I just get more damage. Why not? Also affects the Pearl Drone, and I might be doing a huge drone one, so... Might be good to get. Gotta get those drone chips so I can 100% or 1000%, whatever you want to call it. So how much damage do I do with a Charge Slash on this? Almost all of it. This thing does have a decent hitbox up close, so... Got a little bit of extra melee help when I get spawned. The DPS on this is pretty solid. Oh wow, Crab Ball does a lot of damage. Okay, okay, maybe it's better to use Crab AoE mode and Ball mode more than Standard Fire. Seems to be a lot better. Wow, already. Items? Or sprinkler? Wait, 10p? Wait, we gotta get the sprinkler. This is like nothing. It's free. We're gonna we're gonna turn Pearl into a god in this speedrun. Pearl will be a demon. They will demolish all my enemies. Don't use your main weapon. I mean, I have a Fizzy, and I know Fizzy Spam is good game, but I have been talking about it, but I, only... 
for 145 too? Uh... Yeah, this doesn't count, obviously, I figured, but it's a no. No, I- I'm an idiot. That only counted as one, at least. If only I had LDE fizzy. There's a lot of these guys. Dude, fizzy paint strong! Fizzy paint strong! <clears throat> yeah, it only went down by one, so. Yeah, I'm guessing the ink coverage is like scales. Enemies dropping specials, swim speed, or rush attack. Does my charge slash count as a rush attack? That would count, right? No? Okay. Guess it doesn't matter for me then. No, YouTube is saying yes. YouTube is telling me yes and Twitch is telling me no. Guys, we gotta... I'm just, I'm just gonna do swim. I'm just gonna do swim. You tested it? Okay. Crab might be shitting these guys because he can't turn. Yeah, this might be a problem. I'm not even half damage on my crab, by the way. Yeah, I'm thinking Kraken isn't the best. I'm thinking the specials that can double as protection and support are the best. So Crab might be up here. Seems pretty good. You think the DLC is worth it? Absolutely. Like, obviously, it's not as large as, like, a full roguelike game, but it's $25 DLC. It's not a full game. And for $25 DLC, it's pretty good. Oh, horizontal slash speed. Ooh, hell yeah. I can't mash too much, so I don't know how high I can go, but I can go a little higher for sure. Using the full thing here. Nice. A lot of roguelikes deal seasons here. Yeah. I'm glad there's more of this, uh, because I haven't really played many, and I really like it. Honestly, if Splatoon 4 single player wants to do, like, a larger version of this, since the hero modes are done, I, I would really like that. I would love to see, like, a much larger version of this as the base game. But these genres just clash really well for Splatoon. Hey, I have old Stamper paint on Charge Slash. Pre-nerf. Let's go. Oh... Hey, piece of shit. Nice. That and Endless are what I want.
Guys, is Inkjet a special in this game? I haven't seen it yet, by the way. I want this reward. No one's seen it? Damn. R.I.P. Jetpack would have been cool. But maybe they thought it'd be too broken. I don't think casters in this either, so maybe they just think recalls would be too good. I love the glide as an extension of your movement, it's very nice. Learn to play this level, it's just better to watch the portals. So yeah, I'm not noticing the pearl sprinkler that much, but it's a sprinkler, so. It's not the most noticeable thing out there. more action slots you have the drone for like three bombs at once that sounds nice Ooh, charge fill rate so does the charge fill rate help everything because if so pretty good buffs though. So maybe Pearl helps with that, I guess. Ink efficiency still isn't great. A lot of a lot of stats that need some buffs right now, I think. Oh wow, Shek is right here. Poison ink. 
Definitely need that. nice for these portals. Not even worrying, bro. Oh, no, the splash on enemies suck. I just did not care if I got hit. Yeah, it's starting to get to the point where the dialogue here is repeated. Ink mine plus explosion knockback makes you practically untouchable. That's interesting. I didn't think about that set of buffs. That's cool. Apparently whale is in this. Like, besides the drone. Wait, what are these sounds? What the fuck is this? That is odd. These games always like to have creepy sounds in the boss arenas, man. Boom. You're already fucking looking at me, alright. Oh my god, I need some ink consumption buffs, bro. Spam your bombs. Really right when I crab. Oh hell yeah, Stamper Charge Slash, get him. H just had to climb this tower a shit ton of times. <laughs> times like this, eight, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> is not into the flirting. Um, I don't have a bomb yet. Why not? Let's get the bomb. Got passive special charge on the pearl drone, so I want to get as many of these as I can. Fortress floor. Um, I want the goal up here. Oh shit. Um, oh, I, I think there's bounce pads. Okay, thank God. Oh, this is still gonna be annoying as fuck, though. Oh my God, die! Okay, we got the annoying one out of the way. Yes, yes, please. 
Armor, yes, please. Uh, I need to look for the other ball and goal. Here's the ball. Where do I take it? I don't think it's up here, right? Probably the only place I haven't been. Then. Yeah. Stay away! Stay away! <laughs> Ooh, armor drop. Definitely want the armor. I I've come to really value the armor drops. I think they're more valuable, especially on challenge runs, because you don't have lives. So having the chance to be able to tank a little bit more and make a mistake just matters so much in that. Obviously here it doesn't matter as much, but I still think it's really nice security. Gotten a bit better at sneaking up on these guys. Plus, Charge Slash is like the perfect way to start the ambush if I don't fuck it up like that! Go! Okay, thank god. Ooh, that's a lot of sub saver. Ooh, but I don't have ink recovery yet at all. I think ink recovery is better than sub saver. Even if sub saver is double. Then again, I don't think I picked up a sub saver yet, so I probably should have taken it just to fill it out, but whatever. I really do need some ink efficiency on this weapon, so I think we might as well get some. No damage? Oh. Ooh, wait, this is a new level. I haven't played this one yet. Okay, where's the other goal? There's one here. So I guess we do that one first. Oh, there's one over here. Oh, my ball fell, I didn't realize. Okay. I don't like this platform. Oh, well, there's one here. I can just go down. That's really easy. Actually, both are easy. I guess we'll just go left. Nice. Where's the other ball? Where'd it go? It's over here. Hey! Leave it alone! Yeah, this is definitely easier, because this one just goes here. Wait! Oh, enemy ink counts as damage. I didn't think about that. I was like, how did I lose stuff? I swear I didn't get hit. I didn't think about that. Do not think. Overall thoughts so good so far. I'm starting to doubt it's better than OE. But I still think it's really good. I still think it's good. I think a little more variety for replayability and a little bit better bosses would have gone a long way. Or, or like, there's more variety of bosses in general because the bosses are kind of like, two of them are good, the final one's good, but that one ball one is like, bad. And you only get three. So it just doesn't feel that different, you know? It also just feels really bad whenever you don't get the agent one because the agent one is like very clearly the best one. Just bring back the the Maz enemy from Splatoon 1. That would cool. Still haven't brought that back for no reason. That was one of the best things we've created. Yeah, I mean, less bosses is okay. It's what I expected. Like, I didn't expect a shit ton of bosses, but I feel like it was still kind of low. That or, like, make the Mollusk... I wish the Mollusk rematch had a bit more different to it. Would have been really cool if he had some new attacks or objectives or something as you defeat him. An 8. I'd give it a 9. For me right now, I'm not done yet though, so we have to see. I'm thinking right now that this is a 9 and Octo Expansion stays as a 9.5. But I'm definitely like, my absolute lowest ranking would be an 8. I, I think I'm pretty confidently between an 8 and a 9 and I feel like it'll be higher than lower.
so yeah I will uh, I am planning a review though so I don't want to say too much and on top of that I haven't beaten everything what about Alterna Alterna is a seven maybe 7.5 but right now I'd give it a seven S2 is a three and S1 is a five if you're wondering my full scores I think S1 is much better and I have replayed both of them I have a I have a thousand percent in S2 multiplayer single player I, I literally have all the weapons. I want. I did it before the game was done. I think my big claim... One, the story is actually original in S1. Two, the Octavio fight is so much better it's not even funny. The Octavio fight is horrid in S2. But most importantly, I think that... The fact that you had to build levels around all of the specific... Uh, around being able to be beaten by nine weapons really limited the creativity. This this game gets around it by allowing you to upgrade your guns and stuff and making everything broken, but yeah. Oh, and by the way, if you count the Amiibo as Splatoon 1 story mode, I give it a 6. Being able to do levels with Roller Charger, some more specific challenges and Kraken levels, absolutely bump it up. But that's paid extra, so I wouldn't count that. This is the first place I've heard of these Brellos. They only came into the scene a few years ago. Sounds great. That's interesting. They don't know about umbrellas. It's cool. Oh, Ink Saber. Uh, let's get Ink Saber. We're still a little ink hungry. I think one more Ink Saber and we'll be in a good spot. I like Octo Expansion's variety more is kind of the main thing. Like, there's a lot of distinct challenges and vibes that shake it up. Whereas this is fun, but a lot of it does blend together. Especially as I get further in. And you could say, oh, well, you're you're just replaying it, right? Originally, you won't feel that way, which is true. And that does matter for my review. But the thing is, this is meant to be replayed. This is meant to be played multiple times, though. So that's my point of, like, well, if it feels more boring on replay, that does hurt it, because you are supposed to be playing it multiple times. So I think it does dock points from it, yeah. It's not replaying, it's called progression. Like, obviously you progress, but you're still replaying it. You're still playing the same levels, the same bosses and stuff. Like, it is still repeating. So I, I say, yeah, that it's, it's still, like, it's progression. But it's still replaying it. I would still call this a replay. Like, obviously, no playthrough is identical. But that doesn't mean they can't be very similar. Dude, I want my Charge Slash to be faster. Charge Slash feels so shit being this slow. Wait, fuck the other enemies. I think I just rotate for these guys. There's already another one. Nice fizzy combo. Look at that. Look at that cool ass fizzy combo we have.
I love this fizzy two horizontal combo. Feels really satisfying. Look at that. Crap, that can move. That would be terrifying. I'm on my uh, six weapon or so. Oh wait, this is huge. No drone? Pearl, no! Pearl! Free Pearl! Man, when I've been investing in the drone, too. Shit, I was really hoping I could break an early portal. Might be hard, too. Yeah, I don't have a lot of range. I really need some range. I do have a crab, though, so... Get that. Nice, dude. Crab shreds the portal. Nice. Go, 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 go. Nice. Oh, hell yeah. Wait, Crab is even better against it. You could probably get multiple of them if you're smart. All right, Pearl, you're free. We freed you, Pearl. Ooh, charge speed. Gotta get it. I need my charge slash to feel better. It's so slow. Plus, it's a new one. Well, I gotta get the, the new one. It's still slower, though. Wow, even with an upgrade slower. Whoa, this level's huge. It's a huge tower level. Yeah, I don't really notice Pearl's little sprinkler when it's active. But it's there. It's probably just really small since you build it so easily. Thanks for the bomb, Pearl. Pearl, thanks for the five bombs. Just messing with my muscle memory a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I figured that was good. I have to be a little careful here. I don't want to get greedy. Bomb party doesn't stop. Yeah, thank you. I like the bombs. Why did Stamper and Luna get a reskin, but the others didn't? Well, Stamper is the base Splatana. Luna, I don't know why they swapped it from V-Blast, though. No idea for that. Maybe they just thought it fit the aesthetic better. Maybe they were worried that the Blaster would look too much like uh, the Luna if it was the skin color, like the white skin, since Luna, like base Luna, is kind of white. So maybe it was just like a UI confusion thing. I don't know. Or 
Parallel Cannon. I feel like the name of this implies something, because it's called Parallel Cannon. It's a very... We're not much range yet. Okay, we're not that bad. We are very fast. It's the other one. Flash on lightning. This is my favorite boss. I think it's really fun. Nice. Yeah, I had a good idea to paint. How come Stamper is base? I was thought it was the other way around. Uh, apparently from what I know, Stamper was made first and Wiper was made after. Which also lines up with, if you've noticed in Alterna, in Alterna, there is no Wiper and Reflux, but there is Stamper and Bow, which would be the same reason. No, base. It's the first one they've made. If I had to guess, considering that Stamper had one of the lowest win rates in the random Sheldon Sampler challenge, and competitively at top level, it's considered one of, if not the hardest in the game by, like, other top players, I'm willing to bet that those factors combined mean that they probably felt it wasn't, like, good to be the first one people get. So they s made Wiper instead as the lightweight one. This is also why we know the newer Stamper is probably going to be the... Or not, no. This is also why we think the newer Stamper is probably going to be the heavy one. Because we know that this one is not heavy. So yes, Stamper was first. So, there you go. If you didn't know, now you know. Luna is just, I, I I have to guess it's just like a skin thing. Oh, we haven't done a vending machine in a while. We should get some upgrades. Yeah, I'm really hoping there's a range upgrade. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The aesthetic of Luna matches it better. Drone charge fill rate, pearls, or downgrading my special for no reason. Sure, let's get some more pearl drone charge, because we have so many pearl upgrades already. Okay. And only one set of pearls. What's the point of playing for this weapon if we already have the similar kit? It's just a skin. Armor drop sounds good. It's just skin. It's like the hero mode from S2. I wish it was new kits too, but... I think it's fine. Portals. Nice. Got like a one down at decent speed. Kind of wish I got that sub saber thing. I actually really like busy a decent bit. Bye bye, portal. Can I get the middle one? I gotta remember that AoE mode is piercing. It's a lot better for this. Thank you, Pearl. Oh, my armor drops, yeah. Sorry, guys. I'm here for the big portal. Crab is so good! Bombs and sprinklers I'm getting. I need, I need to get the whale charge. Bye-bye. Use Reef, what's wrong with you? Reef is so much worse, dude. It's like my least favorite. Crab is so much better. I don't want to use Reef. Crab or stamp? Right now I prefer crab. A little bit safer. And the DPS at a distance feels a bit more useful. Ah, oh, it's this one again. 
This is gonna be tricky. This one's really tricky with the short range weapons. And unfortunately, I have not found a single fucking range upgrade so far, so. Luckily, I have crab at least. And Pearl is just throwing everything, so that's always nice. Snipe! Careful, I don't want to be stuck in this corner. Learn my lesson there. Oh, we're gonna use crab and just get this thing out of here. I don't want it sticking around down here. Blaster? Not yet. Coverage. Sound waves. Poisoning. I think poisoning is safe. Guys, honestly, if I can use all the subs and specials, I'm going to do the ranking pretty soon. I want to get it out tomorrow so I can get it uh, edited soon. I think we'll do subs and specials first. I feel like weapons require a lot more to talk about because of the upgrade tree. Sure, we can get this one done first. Not the plan, but it's fine. Go! Oh, it's an ankle here. Bumper balls, go! That's cool. To sensitivity range is a close range player. I think generally the shorter range you are, the higher sense you should have. But it's more personal preference than anything else. Like, that's a general rule, but, you know, everyone's different to what they prefer. sound really useful. Guess we'll get the can special drop increase too. Yeah. How many times have you beaten the final boss? Uh, I think this is my fifth or sixth time fighting it in a bit. Ooh, slash speed or range. That's so tempting. I feel like range is better though. Our range has been what I've been complaining about for so long. I gotta get it. Plus, it's a chip I don't have yet. So, it's important to get it. Yeah, that feels closer to base stamper. I think charge slash is still a little worse, but horizontal is obviously better. Dude, I'm so worried about attacking it because my attacks are so strong. Just have to make sure nothing goes after it. A lot easier when I can see. Not where I want to move you, but okay. We've turned Pearl into a bomb spammer, the very thing they criticized on that one boss. 
You done Stringer yet? No. Stringer is the one I don't have unlocked yet. I think I have everything else. I might be missing one more. I think it's just Stringer, though. Um, I guess we'll just take Calming. None of these are really great. But a little bit of easier aim is okay. Yeah, I can see it adjusting a little. No specials for a bonus. We'll see. Straight speed would have been nice too. It's a little slow. But you usually can increase your straight speed on Splatanas anyway. I'm pretty sure that's basically the same as Golden Snapper. stuff. I would have really liked to do a run where Pearl is just as buff as possible, but I haven't been getting great RNG with them. Cheaper Splat Bomb, fills Gauge faster, Explosion Knock back. I guess more Bomb. I don't really care about the Sprinkler as much. I already get so much of it, so more Bomb is fine. Yeah, Pearl's a Bomb Spammer. Some weapons have increased pearl trip rates. Ah, yeah, I guess I gotta get that. And then we'll get a super pearl one. Probably wanna get that for Charger. I think Charger is where I wanna get a lot of pearl upgrades. So I'm not great with that gun. Oh, we'll just get more bottles. More crab, I mean. Oh yeah, I never tested if Crab was actually nerfed in this or not. I don't think I can test it here. I don't think I can get the special. Unless my fizzy reach is that. I don't think it does. Oh no, it wouldn't make it anyway. Double zone here? That's a little tricky and there's a lot of inkables. Two checkpoints though. That's nice. Let's kill the sprinter, guys. Oh yeah, I really charge crab now. Try to flip that. Wait, Fizzy! 
Nice. God, there's so many painters. Go away! Pearl, drop some bombs! Dude, Sprinkler would have been so clutch here. I have armor, it's fine. I'm getting really overwhelmed. I really need to get some discs. But it might just be because I'm standing on a zone. I think I probably just got to red dead more. Of course. Dude, the zone is so hard to keep in this. Oh my god. God, this level is so annoying. It's fine, I'll get this. No. None of that fucking sprinkler die in my way, please. Bro, you gotta spam bombs with these guys. Nice. There we go. That, that map's probably the most annoying zones map, but I think about it, Sprinkler wouldn't be as bad. Oh, here we go. What did it mean? Everyone. I did recruit some Octoling engineers to help with members' development, but it can't mean them, right? Let's go in and ask it. Yeah, I'm sure it'll answer the question. Here we go. How many weapons? Just give it two seconds, you'll find out. More dialogue. And more lore. It's my favorite part of this, is to get more answers. <laughs> Alright, sure. Can Ray pierce my crab? I didn't even think about that. But doesn't it pierce crab and salmon? That might be a problem. I didn't think about that. This would be the only time it's a downside, really, but... I want to know if it's real. Oh, uh, well, that's bad timing for me. Also, I almost fell, and I don't think I can cover in this. Oh my...
just want to be careful for the sliders. I don't have any armor. In fact, I should probably be farming an armor. No, I can block it. Okay. It does a lot of damage to me, but I can block it. Armor, please. Armor, please. I guess I can break that quarter right now, but I really want armor. Armor! Okay, there we go. And I think I lost it immediately. I'm not sure. Also, I think the slider will insta-break my crab. If that also stays the same. Okay. That's good. I'm close on the discs. Okay, now I have armor. I feel safer. Always play around the fucking armor. Armor is your best friend. Does it break me? I want to know. Oh, it doesn't! It's nerfed! Let's go! Things helped build it had a philosophy. It wasn't conscious, but they all wanted a world that would never change. Well, we have to fight them again. Know the answer. So Octolings don't want change, which is odd because they're the ones who were stuck underground and stuff. You figured they would have had the worst life. So why are they so afraid of change? There it is, Order Splatana. I don't think I like it more than base Splatana, but it's nice to have the skin. I'll probably get a five star eventually. It's a great about a world that never changes. Oh yeah, I'm an Octoling, don't I want that? 50 pearls. Half the lockers are open. Dev Diary. Also, yeah, if the glowing ones are... So that's Stringer, and that's probably Octoshot. I'd be a bit annoyed if we have to do Octoshot, though, because we just... It's the same thing as Shot. Shot was fun, but, like, I don't want to do the whole thing again. All right, well... I still don't get what this does. Like, what does this mean? I don't want any of these. I should definitely get the discount. The discount's very strong, I think. Um, I think I can get more damage too, right? No, it's 500. 
I don't like the continue. I didn't realize how expensive it'd be. Moving a bit faster with armor broken sounds fine, though. Let's do that. I like that. that. That's a big deal. And then recovering armor faster as well is good. I think this matters a lot. What's the next upgrade? Four seconds? Ooh, four seconds is really good. Okay. Got a lot more of these. Alright, one more to read. New idea. If I can't get the system to match a mem cake to its soul, what if I could get the mem cake itself to do the work? All the thoughts and memories would have to do is return to their natural form. So that's worth exploring. So in practical terms, by taking the thoughts and memories stored in the mem cakes and mixing them up further, then setting them up with the basic framework of a soul, in theory, should sift them and select where they belong. Don't see a way to do that in the real world. But if I convert the mem cakes into a data that I could upload to a virtual space, that's more doable. I never thought I'd see the day where the members' virtual world I created would serve an actual purpose. But I haven't touched it since finishing the prototype. I hope it'll do what I need it to do. Hmm. Alrighty. Um, we've been live for about three hours. We've done three weapons. Oh, we got another piece of gear. Uh, damn, these are going to be expensive. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to spend more money. I'm going to have to play this more than just 100% to get all of this. But that's okay. I'll, it doesn't take that long, especially if I just do this point reset or anything. But, uh, yeah. I think this might be a good place to pause for the time being. It's very fun. Been having a good time. Had some more successful runs, so. More drone slots equal more actions the drone can perform at once. Oh. I'll get that then. That's probably why I wasn't rolling more drone stuff. I just realized that. Okay, I lost one roll at, at 30 because I just played too long and it was late, so. All right. I think it's a decent stopping point. Thanks for watching, guys.